everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and I'm here with an Artistic Studio Creation Design Team project share. I used my Fairy Wings and Fairy Dust collections. I had the 8x8, the 12x12, and the patterns and solids for both chipboard and stickers. And I had pockets and tags for Fairy Dust, but I didn't use them. And then these are Wild Orchid flowers that Crystal sells in her shop and then some bling. I got some wooden feet here that I painted with this Prima Alchemy paint which is an acrylic based paint and they came out really pretty and shimmery and yeah we can start uh, this is a 8 by 6 inch box I think uh, 5.5 by 8 inch box and it is made out of the 92 pound chipboard from scratch and it's super easy to make so I'll show you guys how to make that here in a video coming up and these are 4 by 6 mini albums I'll take these out so you can see the inside I used one of the die cuts from the very wings collection and then did some fussy cutting, some glossy accents on the back with her wings. And from the 12 by 12 paper, signature paper, I used that. Did get a little bubbling here with the glue, um, but, well, with the glossy accents. So, stickles on the dress. You can see the shine. Okay, and yeah, this is a sturdy little box. Um, the albums are basically all the same, but what I did was I made them color-coded. So first, if you're looking at the albums in the box, they make a picture, like the signature page picture, all three of them in a row, so they kind of have to go this way. And then I did a purple dominant, a green dominant, and a pink dominant. I'm going to go through them really, really fast for you, or else this would take forever. So again, this is a, I think it's a four and a half by six and a half. The pages are four by six. Each one has like a library pocket here with some cut aparts. There is a pocket here that you can put stuff in. I did not put anything in. There is a pocket here for some tags. I only have tags in one of them if I put it in that pocket. And then a swing. There's a small pocket here and a pocket here. And then on the back of this one, it's plain. There's a belly band here. You can stick something down in and a placeholder. Plain for a big picture, two pockets. And then a swing. Here, with a photo mat underneath. I put that in upside down. <laughs> oh well. So they have to put a photo there since it's upside down. So this would be perfect for like your just cropped 4x6s or 3x5s. Uh, Three by threes would be perfect. And double pocket in the back here. Most of them, they're almost all the same with a little bit of variation. Each one has this waterfall on the back and the waterfall has pockets on the side. So there's five pages there. That's the purple album, the first one, and on the back I did a cut apart or an ephemera. The middle album, which is the green album, um, I asked on the ASC Facebook group which color I should do because I had also had yellow and per oh I did purple, yellow and blue. The box was blue, but Crystal said green, so I did green. Did one of the four by sixes on the front, another one of the library pockets. And again, each page has the double pocket on it. 
There's one of the ephemera pieces there. This is a belly band. And behind the belly band is a, or under the belly band is a pull out thing that I can't get out. There it is. There's this pocket again. And this one I had to tuck under because it wanted to pop up. So um, I messed up on this page and I tore it. So I put a gusset there and I could totally cover that, but I'm okay. I'm okay with it. So it, it kind of opens a little funny, what you get when you add more paper, more glue. There's a side belly band. This is a little different. I put one of the journaling cards there, the 4x6 journaling cards. Another pocket, another swing. So mostly the same, just a little different. And of course, every, each one's a different color, which I, I like. I think that makes it interesting. And again, with the belly bands. Okay, and that's a magnetic closure. There's a couple magnets in these, not too many. And then the pink one, which is the first one I did. You got the library pocket, some of the ephemera, double pocket. And that you, there's room for tags and photos just to be stuck in here. Also plenty of room for um, photos to be glued in. This would be good for a little journaling spot. This double pocket again, or double swing with the magnet closure. Rupert pocket. The pink album is the first album I did. I think I already said that, but typically the first album is the one that's like, uh, I want to say, most detailed and like kind of like cared for because you just started the project and you're really into it and then. About halfway through, you get like, you want to rush. So, and all the ideas come on the first album if you're doing multiple albums in the same series. So, um, throughout the series, I kept some of the um, details the same, which include, I'll just flip through this real quick. Lots of room for photos. Oh, I forgot the tag there. So some of the details that I kept the same are these scalp corners or the stub punch corners, which I use my We Are Memory Keepers, and the whatever this thing, the little scallop is. And you know, some of the page designs are repeating. So that is my project. I appreciate everybody who sat around and watched. If you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial of this, if you could just subscribe and leave a comment below saying that you would like to see a tutorial of at least one of these three albums in the box, I will see what I can do in the near future. So head on over to Artistic Studio Creations, that's ASC Supplies on Etsy, ASCCraftSupplies.com. Use Scrapping Posh 10 in your comments or I'm sorry, use Scrapping Posh 10 in your coupon code at checkout and you'll get 10% off all regular price items. So again, I hope you have a wonderful day and um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.